Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I had a deep look at the kit of the new limited hero and trust me she is absolutely broken even without any exclusive at all. So make sure that you are at least trying your luck to obtain the first copy of her. It's gonna enhance by a huge amount the power you are gonna have in every content in the game. PvE, PvP, watering coast, faction abyss, everywhere. She is stunning. So, so strong. So if you first have a look to the passive, you can't increase or refresh her cooldown. So that's great for PvP, Lydia or Ben Austin or Ina can't touch your cooldown. This is great. Uh, she has a ton of effect resistance because she's gonna convert some effect hits into effect resistance. And this is the way you want to play her. With as much effect hit as you can. And as well, for every 50% effect hit she's gonna have, she's gonna convert some into max HP. Up to 22% max HP can be increased that way with only the perceive. So let's have a look to her skills now. On the ultimate, she's gonna have whirling drumsticks for two turns. When she has that, all your team is gonna have 30% more direct damage and dot damage. This is absolutely crazy. This is the ultimate, this is crazy. And she's gonna cleanse all control debuffs from all allies. First active skill, she's gonna have Roaring Drums for 2 turns on her. If she has that, every ally in your team is gonna have 40% more piercing rate and effect hit. Do you imagine? 40% piercing rate on everyone using that skill. And if you have the exclusive one, she's gonna take the first turn and she is gonna use that directly. This is absurd how powerful it is. And the effect hit, this is one of the only hero capable of increasing the effect hit of your heroes as well. You have Virto who can do that passively uh, up to 44%, but you need an attack buff on your heroes, right? She can do that 40% increase on your heroes. So if you are using that with Anita, we are going to see that after. It's going to be easier to provide the poisons on the enemy in PvP. And this is really strong. And this is not enough. She's gonna deal some status of de damage based on her HP on all enemies and try to stun them. 20% chance if you don't have any exclusive on her. 20% chance this is not a lot, but remember that if you increase by a lot her effect hit, you ha you're gonna have more chance to stun enemies. It can be good, it can be bad if you have a Pauline in front. And she's gonna... Add a block removal on all your heroes for two turns. So the enemies are not gonna be able to remove your buffs with one attempt only. So if you have an NG3 in front, this is perfect. And finally on the basic attack, single target, 18% of her max HP in damage, 60% chance to inflict, resistance down 50% or, or tenacity down 60%. So in fact, the effect is changing all the time. It's random to inflict the first one, so I'm gonna try that to show you. I have tenacity down on that guy, so the next one is guaranteed to be the resistance down. If the first one you inflict is the resistance debuff, the next one is guaranteed to be the tenacity down if the target already have the resistance down. So tell me what do you think about all of these, but in my opinion, even without any exclusive at all, she is an amazing hero and probably one of the best supports we have in the game. The damage increase on all the skills and the control cleans on the ultimate is just insane for a hero without any exclusive. Even if it's a limited hero, I mean, it is achievable to get one copy of a limited hero after all, right? But you need to save some guarantees and miracle wishes or to spend a bit, 70, 80 euros, something like that on the on the uh, voyage type event it's up to you to decide so let's check the exclusive now because they are amazing too the first one being maybe one of the most effective we have okay at the beginning of the wave she is gonna cast the ultimate directly so directly your heroes are gonna have 30% more dot and direct damage and this is not everything for every 50% effect hit she has, she's gonna get 6% turn meta increase up to 30%. But in total, you need 250% effect hit to get the 30% turn meta increase. Which is gonna be really hard, because even with the blessings today and a huge sanctuary, the effect hit to reach 250%, and if you want to have a lot of speed as well, the effect hit blessings use the same slots as the speed blessings. So maybe 200% effect hit is 
is achievable, but it's gonna still be really hard if you want to have a lot of speed on the hero. So it's up to you to decide, but it's gonna be hard to outspeed a popper. But if you want that, you need crazy stuff. A popper, you want to focus on the effect hit and the speed as well, but you need less effect hit than that. And even with 150% effect hit, this is really hard to achieve with a popper if you want to have more than 3000 speed and outspeed others popper. But this is an amazing exclusive because you are gonna cast that extra ultimate, it's not gonna use the cooldown. So you are gonna get the extra turn meta and if enemies such as Nazil or Lydia try to imprison or freeze your heroes, you can reuse that skill after and you are gonna cleanse your heroes. This is amazing. On the second exclusive, when you are going to use the first active skill, you are not going to have 20% but now 40% chance to stun all targets in front and as well a 65% chance to lower their speed by 40%. This is great as well. But this is not everything. If you have uh, during uh, Roaring Drums on her, you obtain that for 2 turns when you are casting the skill. If you have that, every time one of your hero is going to get an attribute buff, the duration of the attribute buff is going to be increased by 1 turn which is great for every content in a game one more time. If you are using an attack buff in PvE for example to get more damage on a boss, it's gonna be amazing. And then finally the exclusive 3 is gonna enhance even higher the damage of your team because on the ultimate once you have roaring drums and whirling drumsticks so you cast that one at the beginning of the wave using the exclusive one right automatically and then if you open with that skill during the fight you are gonna have the two buffs on her and so you are gonna take advantage of the exclusive 3 which one is gonna give to all your heroes 1.5 times the original bonuses given by the ultimate. So instead of 30% increase, you are going to have 45% dot damage and direct damage increase. This is huge, but this is not everything. For every 50% effect hit she has, and if she has roaring drums and whirling drumsticks, all your heroes are going to get 9% more skill damage up to 45% skill damage in total this way. This is amazing. The damage you are gonna have thanks to that is just completely insane. So imagine if you are using that with, with a jingle bell in your team and this is a kind of team we are gonna try a, a bit later during the video. She's gonna deal insane damage passively. And all your heroes in fact are gonna destroy enemies. So the hero without exclusive is amazing, with exclusive 1 uh, a super super effective, exclusive 2 adds just a bit more stuff and the exclusive 3 is gonna enhance by a bit more the damage you are gonna do with your hero. A bit more. I'm thinking about something. To increase her effect hit, if we play her with Verto, is it gonna work? Is she gonna have the extra effect hit at the beginning of the wave and get the extra turn meta? I wanna try that, so I'm gonna put a popper in front and we are gonna do the first try. Okay, there we go. I have a popper and I have her and both have 3000 speed. I have 200% effect hit on her as well. We are gonna restart and normally she should get 24% turn meta increase and Popper should play before her, right? And yes, that was the case. So let's increase that a bit higher. 230, I'm gonna restart with that and I'm gonna add Verto in the team to see if it does increase her effect hit at the beginning of the wave and so her turn meta by the extra. And apparently no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work maybe because it is a blind buff. I mean, it's increasing her effect hit, but in behind you can't see the effect added to the stats. So it doesn't work with Verto. That's sad. So in fact, you can outspeed a popper, but you are gonna need a crazy amount of effect hit and speed, and this is gonna be really hard to obtain. So let's first try her damage and compare her damage with some other heroes and then we are gonna try one team versus another to try to simulate some PvP content. But uh, this is not always really representative of a real battle in Arena because you don't have echoes or auras. But still, it can give some data to figure out if the hero is good or not. So let's try everything. So for the first try, I am gonna nerf a bit her speed because I want the others to play before her. Otherwise, she's gonna enhance their damage, right? So uh, she has less speed than the others. We can retry with that. 
and they everybody in the team has the base stats. Okay, so they are equivalent. Melchio Don, Nirid Don, Luz Don, and her I'm gonna open with that skill because it's an AoE attack. Don. If we check 383k on her, 949k on Melchio. Oh Jesus, I wasn't expecting that on Luz. 1464k. Probably because he had some crits. And 450k on a Nereid, so she deals almost the same amount of damage as a Nereid. Okay, so now let's increase her speed, and so she's gonna be the first one to act. I'm gonna heal everyone. And restart. I'm gonna open with that skill, to increase the damage, direct damage and the damage of everyone. So let's use that skill, that one, and the ultimate of Luz, and then check the damage. Look at the damage on Luz. 2587? This is way higher than Melchio? I wasn't expecting that at all. So maybe I'm gonna build my Luz and replace my Melchio by Luz? Are you serious? I'm curious to know that in the future. So, Melchio a bit more damage than before and a bit more on Nereid as well. So now let's retry again and open with the other skill to increase my piercing rate and my effect hit in the team and deal some damage to the enemies, okay? So let's use that skill again, the ultimate on Nereid and the ultimate of Luz. And we have... The same damage that time on both Melchio and Luz, so apparently the direct damage given on to Luz by, with the ultimate is better than the other, than getting some piercing rate. Okay, so now let's try her with the exclusive one. And did you see that? She used her ultimate at the beginning of the wave, and so everybody is gonna have the buffs given by the ultimate. 30% more direct damage and dot damage. So now she can open with that skill, and we are gonna see normally a difference in damage with everyone. If we check the data, look at the increase on that guy. But by the way, I don't understand why my Luz is dealing less damage than before. So let's retry because it's probably a matter of crit rate on heroes. Okay, that's only a matter of crit. So he has a 2522. So in fact, thanks to the exclusive one, you are gonna have more damage on all your heroes because at the beginning she is casting the ultimate directly. So you want to open with that skill at the beginning if you have the exclusive one. This is already an amazing exclusive. But what if we use the exclusive 3 now? So she's gonna cast the ultimate at the beginning, right? So now she can cast that skill directly and we are gonna have normally a ton of extra damage on everyone and look at that, everybody is stunned. And with a speed down. And if I retry with that... Now he has a 2472k and we have 2874 on Luz. Yes, he is, com he is closer to the damage of Luz because he is guaranteed to crit. But Luz is not guaranteed to crit so we have to try multiple times. But at the end of the day, it's not us that useful to try because if you have to increase the crit rate of your Luz, you are losing other stats and on a Melchior you can increase the attack and the crit damage instead of the crit rate so uh, this is a better in my opinion to play a Melchior today because it's gonna be easier to increase the damage but it's pretty close in fact so that's pretty interesting so if you don't have a Melchior maybe Luz can do the job instead today after the rework and look at the extra damage I have on everyone thanks to the exclusive 3 this is insane but there is another test I want to do what if we are using some daughters in the team and little Jack so let's first try with Little Jack only, then I'm gonna replace Little Jack by her, and we are gonna compare the damage increase we have thanks to both of them. Okay, so Little Jack, in order to increase the mastery of your heroes, you need the exclusive too, right? So we are gonna try that, let's open with that skill, I don't care, I want to try the damage of Nita. There we go, our enemies are taking their turn, so wait a bit. And this is the result, 1500k on Nita. So let's try to replace Little Jack by the new limited hero now. And exclusive zero to begin with. I'm gonna open with the ultimate to increase the, the damage on Nita. Ultimate. They are taking some extra damage. 
And there we go, I have more damage than with Little Jack. But Little Jack, if you increase the mastery in the future, she's gonna deal way more, right? So first we are gonna add the exclusive one and retry because she's also gonna have some piercing rate after using that skill so normally her damage should be better than before, right? 1600 before and we have a bit better now. Okay, so let's retry with the exclusive three that time. The uh, dot damage is gonna be increased. I'm gonna reuse that skill as well. And there we go, 2000 damage. So that's way better. So I'm gonna add again Little Jack in the team because you need stats on him to increase the damage of your uh, daughters in the team. So the maximum mastery you need on him once he is exclusive 2 is 250. Now my Nita, instead of 77% mastery, she has 100% more. So let's check the damage she can do with that. And apparently it should be better than before. 2,254. Do you imagine? You have almost the same damage increase when you are using the other hero, exclusive 3, than with Little Jack, exclusive 3. So if you don't have Little Jack, maybe you can focus on her. This is gonna be perfect to increase the damage of all sources in your team. But Little Jack, remember that he can also reduce the, the attack of enemies by 40% with a unique debuff. So he is still great for that and he deals crazy damage too if he is exclusive 3, okay? But what if we are using the two heroes in the same team now? Let's go! Yeah, look at that! 3332k! So for dungeons, this is gonna be insane! And even if you don't have any exclusive at all on her, 2,852. Amazing at exclusive zero. I love that. Okay, so we made a lot of tests with her for PvE and now let's try versus some PvP teams. So there we go. I want to try the damage of my Nita to try to see if it can beat Sun Wukong teams. You have all the heroes I have on my account in front with the same stats, okay? So they have big stats as well, and I have the same stats as I have on my account on my heroes now. I just uh, adapted the stats of her to... This is what I should have on my account, I think, if I had her. I have to increase her speed by an extra. 2,800 should be enough. Okay, so... Turn meter reduction. Now she can play. I'm gonna use that skill. That's perfect. And she cleansed everyone. Let's check the damage of Nita. Thanks to the ultimate of her, so she has 30% more dot damage. And that's not that bad. That's not that bad. I, I can probably replace that guy by someone else. To increase by a bit more the damage I can do. Okay, so let's cleanse everyone. She is the first to play. This is insane. Let's go. One attack. Look at the damage taken by every one of them. Another ultimate twice. Only one left in front, probably because he had a lot of resistance. But I don't have a lot of effect hit though, 116% on her, and on the others I have, yeah, look, this is my Sun Wukong, 265%. And I want to try the difference though, so I'm gonna uh, remove her and uh, try to see the damage I can do with another hero instead. I'm using Pauline so I can cleanse at the beginning, this is important. And he is not gonna give to me some extra damage, so let's try that. First ultimate, second one. And look, I wasn't able to kill anyone in front. And I still have the apple on two heroes. And she was exclusive zero, so let's try with the first one that time. Okay, so... Um, this is a bit bad. Having the exclusive one is a bit bad. I, I, I mean, she is starting with the ultimate, okay? So she used the ultimate at the beginning of the wave, so she cleansed... Nothing, in fact, okay? She just uh, used her skill to enhance the dot damage and the direct damage of my team. But you need to reuse the ultimate after if you want to cleanse from a Lydia or an Azil. Uh, so you are gonna lack some damage, but it's still great to open with that skill in PvP if you want to avoid being controlled. So that's still a good one. And in auto, it's probably the best thing to do. So in fact, having the exclusive one is not gonna change anything to that fight. 
I'm gonna do a test on the SQD3 directly because I'm gonna have some damage increase on my Nita. Let's say I'm playing in auto, I want to use that skill again to cleanse my heroes. So let's stun everyone, use that skill one time, and I got a bit more damage than before. And another one. Everybody died, so then it's a matter of effect hit. But she can increase the effect hit using the other skill, so let's retry, but opening with the other skill. Because if I'm using Elik, she's not gonna get in prison, right? So I can use the other skills because I, I don't care. I'm gonna use that. Damage enemies, they are stunned. Increase the turn meta of Nita, lower the defense. Use that skill, now she has more effect hit, so normally she should be able to apply some debuffs on Sun Wukong, I guess. Or maybe not, because the resistance he has in comparison with my effect hit is too much. But he took a bit more damage. Now let's try with a direct damage dealer. And let's say I want to use Luz. Why not? So this is the stats I'm going to put on my lures, okay? This is generally the stats I have on direct damage dealers. 100% crit rate, 350% crit damage. Uh, so let's restart the fight with these stats and let's check if it works or not. Because remember, I have only one limited hero in the team and without any exclusive for now. So I'm opening with that skill, lowering the defense of all enemies, using that skill once. Okay, there is really bad damage. Extra turn again, and no, it's not working the way I thought. Uh, let's use that skill. No, it's not a good hero for that. Let's try to compare that with Melkyo. Defense down, and I'm going to use that skill once. And I had bad damage and he countered, so no, it's not working. With Nita, it was way better. So let's try again, but that time put directly the exclusive 3 to see if there is a damage increase or not. He got stunned so he can't counter attack. Defense down. And the ultimate. Yeah, the damage are not that high though. So Nita in comparison is way stronger than that. The dot damage increase is insane. So the most free to play team you can build if you have at least the exclusive zero on her is that team using Nita instead of that guy, instead of Melkyo. You have only accessible heroes and that one exclusive zero can be summoned. But now I wonder, what if we try to build the most broken team ever? And for that I want Jingle Bell inside. I want Lydia as well. I want Nicolas of course. And Rista. The goal is gonna be not to take the first turns, but to have a ton of extra damage on her at the beginning of the fight. To see the damage she's gonna release on the perceive when enemies are gonna take a turn. Okay, so Lydia is gonna take the first turn as always. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start using that skill to increase my damage. Okay, now she can take a turn. I'm gonna increase my piercing rate. But if he counterattacks, if I can't control him, I'm dead. He's stunned. Turn meta increase. Stun. I'm gonna apply a shield, ultimate, and her ultimate. And look at the health they lost already. Jeez, the damage. Ultimate again, freeze them. Pursuit. And I have so much damage. Even my Lydia is hitting hard now with that team. She is insane. She is completely broken. But now I wonder what is gonna happen if we try to use her in this kind of team because you already have crazy damage with Engi 3 with every pursuit, every counter attack she makes. You have crazy damage on Sun Wukong as well. And Lydia is gonna deal a lot of damage too. So I wonder if it is gonna destroy the team in front. So let me synchronize the data again. Restart with that, and let's put the fight in auto and see what happens. I have too much attack on my Lydia, so she couldn't use the ultimate. I'm getting frozen. Damage increase now on my heroes. They have the extra piercing rate normally.
Okay, and so far it's pretty much the same damage in the two sides. But you know, I have to survive with the team, otherwise it's not gonna work, and apparently for now it's not working. So it's something that needs some optimization in the future in a real PvP battles. So once I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna try her more in depth and try to see how far I can push in dungeons and in PvP with her with different teams. So guys, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to try to get her, at least without any exclusive. She is gonna enhance by a lot the power of your account. Trust me, this is the best hero to have so far in the game. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>